Hi, John with Citizen Survival Plan here. Today I want to get into ham radio operators, or at least they claim that they're ham radio operators online, spreading a lot of misinformation about how radios work. I recently posted a short where I had a GMRS radio that would not take CTCSS tones or any digital tones. I would type it in, I would save it, and it would just go back to zero. And everybody, the only comment on the video was people telling me that I have to be in VFO mode or frequency mode. This is not true. And I'm going to demonstrate painstakingly why all these ham radio operators are incorrect. So let's get right into it. So this is a ham radio. And this is why the ham operators are commenting this misinformation. This is on channel 16 for GMRS. That is the frequency on the top. And if I go in and try and set any tone, whether it be digital or CTCS tone, doesn't matter. It won't take. So let's just show that. Confirmed it in there. And let's go back. It deleted out. Why did it do that? Because the channel is already programmed in. I've already saved this frequency as channel 16. In order to make CTCS tones or any parameter, whether it be squelch or tones or anything, you have to go into VFO mode and save it as a channel with your parameters typed in first. Okay, now that we've established that, let's move on to a GMRS radio. Something that I think ham radios just, ham radio operators do not understand. So this has no tones on it, this is a UV9G GMRS radio. So there's a tone in here already. So let's just turn it off. Confirmed it off. We'll go back into and it's off. Now let's set a tone. Confirm 77 right in there and I'll go back and it's still there. It has taken the tone and it can remember it. This is because a GMRS radio is channelized. We are not saving frequencies. The channels are already in there. You can save and set parameters on the fly with a GMRS radio. There is no need to delete the channel out and redo your parameters and save it back in. All of this can be done on the fly. And just to demonstrate, I am going to do it with every single radio I have here. This is a BTEC GMRS V2, and this has this has no tones on it. We'll save it. This is a digital tone. Confirmed. And I'll go back in, and it's still there. It's saved. In the video with a GMRS radio that I had, it would not take any tones. Let's do one more. This is a GMRS 9R. And let's do that too. Let's save a tone. I'm on channel 16. We'll just do a CTCSS tone. And we'll just do whatever. Yep, let's confirm it in there. And let's go back. It's still there. It took the tone. Everyone and everybody just kept commenting this and they are all incorrect. Let's move on to a GMRS base station. We are gonna program this with a CTCS tone on the fly. So we're on channel 16. Let's hit menu. Let's go up to, let's do a receive tone. And we're gonna do this on the fly. Let's do 71. And let's exit out back to the main screen. Still on channel 16 on this. Let's go back in. My tone is still there. I can change any tone. I can change squelch. I could change any parameter on a GMRS radio on the fly. Everybody who commented this is very incorrect. And people kept commenting that other people in the comments and the ham operators were trying to help me and I was being rude to people. And that's just not the case. If a thousand people say the wrong thing, it doesn't make it more right. The radios operate the way they operate. Saying they operate a different way does not change that. So why I made the video is Baofeng radios, some of their programming, and this is the problem with Baofengs that I've had over the years.
and I've bought a lot of different radios. And what happens is Baofangs come in with those programming errors where you can't program them. It won't take tones or other parameters. And I was trying to warn people who maybe aren't very good with radio why their radio may not be working. Because if you don't know how it works, you might be trying to type it in and you might think it's your fault. It's not your fault. If you're using some cheaper radios like Baofangs, they can have programming errors. And the point of the video was just return the radio if it has an issue. Those settings should be able to be changed whenever you want to change them. On GMRS, not ham radios. One last thing I want to cover before I end this video is people were saying you need to hook it up to Chirp or you need to do a factory reset. First of all, I did do a factory reset on the two radios that came in. It did not fix the problem at all. It did the same thing. I also don't think Chirp would fix this programming error. I do not use Chirp. This can be a little bit debatable, but from what I know about Chirp, you can go in and you can set all your parameters, but you cannot fix a malfunctioning circuit board. The circuit board was not taking the tones. I could go into Chirp and enter it. I still don't know if it would save or not. That is up for debate, actually. The last thing I want to say, though, is if I buy a GMRS radio, I want it to work the way it should work when I get it out of the box. If it doesn't, and if I do a factory reset, that's about as far as I'll go. If it doesn't fix that problem, they have sent me a radio that is not working and should be returned. These companies should send you a working product, not a project. Remember, before you comment, you should think about what you're saying and if it's actually correct or not.